Okay. Yeah, I'm in bed now, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, and so the camera is a little further away from the TV, but I'm trying to keep it in there. And we're in the first of these. It's okay, you guys. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Link and Links is on me. You just wanna hear her spot. For years, we have been hiding all kinds I got of TV on too. Bra. I don't know if now you can hear the TV, but yeah. It's right next to this TV. I don't know what you've been hiding in your oh, bra, oh, but God. women have clothes with pockets now. And it's yeah, the only thing, thing yeah, they're a nitpick. There's no way to skip the tutorials. Conveniently, right, every time you play the game, you gotta go through the tutorials. Yeah, no, I have a band aid somewhere really wet and warm in my bra. Let me find it. With the rat trap, you can skip the purse and still have your valuables within easy reach. I noticed condoms are on the list of everyday items. That's presumptuous and a little slutty. If you're the kind of person who would consider hiding condoms in your boobs, you're also probably the kind of person who doesn't use condoms. And I like this. The finger is nice. You can... So with the rack trap, it keeps everything right where it belongs. Life just got a little more mm. exciting for pickpockets. Now if they want to steal my valuables, they have to steal my breasts as well. Mm. On the right, I keep my cash, my credit cards, my license, and on the left, you never know who you're going to meet, so I keep my business cards. That's real professional. How you doing? Kim Jones, attorney in law. Here's my warm card. If you wear a bra or you know somebody that does, you need the rack trap. And if you're a new mother, don't forget to remove the rack trap before breastfeeding your baby, or else it'll choke on all the condoms, band-aids, and lipstick you have stored in there. Rafael Alberto Perez is a San Diego real estate agent looking to stand out to clients. So he made this rap video. Welcome to the 619 San Diego, the place where the tourists come and say you should go. Got beaches, fine dining, hiking in Legos, even kill the whales are nice and playful. You had me at Legos. I would rather buy a house from a rapper than listen to this guy. Ownership is back, now the new routine. The rules of real estate are no longer the same. Basic fundamentals is the name of the game. It's one thing to be bad at lip syncing. It's an entirely other one to be saying a whole different sentence than the one that we're hearing. This is not about five hold flip for rookie. It's about building a home with more positive cash flow. There aren't a lot of people in this world that can successfully rhyme the words rookie and cash flow. But this guy also cannot do that. Maybe you'll get that positive cash flow when you learn how to spell it. As MLK once said, you don't have to see the whole staircase to take the first step. Martin Luther King had a dream, and this guy is honoring his dream by rapping about real estate. Set your goal, write it down, continue forward. Your American dream, your daily routine, working hard every day, a future you'll build. Provide for your family a castle from skills, a place to raise the kids, or a cash flow machine. Which do you prefer? I'm living the American dream. I got some clip art and a green screen, and I'm kind of lip syncing, and then I stop and start and look uncomfortable. Let me tell you who I am. No, I'm not a rapper. That's my initials. Yeah, and okay, I will buy the house if you stop rapping. Oh, I love it. Earlier video. I'm confused, am I? Yeah, I do like skateboarders are always finding new, more painful ways yeah, to Yeah, Whether they're soaring uh, through the air, but I don't you think no, it's staying low to the ground. Get to do it. Or in the case of the next guy on our countdown, landing somewhere in between. I keep forgetting the control. <laughs> And I don't have to pin. Cancel is the same button. But he has one now. But menu and select or or, 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 or okay, like I'm gonna call it. When I was his age, they were our genitals experimenting with masturbation. <laughs> Yo, that was a ball buster, man. Got it up the nuts. They're probably gonna need some kind of a special instrument to fix him. That's how up is nuts. He got it. F you, beach. I got it on Phil. Ooh, Phil. What are you making? Apocalypse. Ow, my balls. The blue 
used skateboarder is taken to the ER. Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Grundleman, taint specialist. I'm not the greatest doctor. I'm not the worst. I'm somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Okay, it's okay, Munchkin.